Today is October 28th. Pastor is saying to us, His name has power in all three worlds. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 to 10. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth. If Jesus truly gave us the legal right, that is, the power of attorney to use his name, what results should we expect when we use his name? What's so important about the name of Jesus? What does his name represent and why should we have so much confidence in the name of Jesus? We have the answer in our opening scripture. Notice the construction, it's absolute. It says, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. That's a sovereign decree, a law in the realm of the Spirit. Hallelujah. This sovereign decree is in force in heaven, in the earth, and under the earth, in hell. His name has power in all three worlds. That power applies to the things, that is, whatever exists in all three worlds, whether they be thrones, governments, galaxies, principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world in high places, they are all subject to his name. This is remarkable. It explains why you should never be flustered by anything in life. It makes no difference what Satan and his cohorts of hell are concocting. You can neutralize their efforts and overturn their works in the name of Jesus. We call part of what we read in Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 to 10, of things under the earth. It means beings, things, or anything that exists in hell. No wonder Jesus told us to heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Matthew chapter 10, verse 8. Even if a man went to hell, you could call him back because the name of Jesus Christ has power in heaven, on earth and in hell. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer with me. Thank you, Father, for the glorious results I see when I use the name of Jesus. Today, Lord, your righteousness rules and reigns in the nations. Many are healed, lepers are cleansed, the dead are raised, and there's a great harvest of souls into the kingdom. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. For further study, please read Colossians chapter 3, verse 17, Mark chapter 16, verses 17 to 18, and Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 to 10 of the Weymouth New Testament. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 to 22, and Jeremiah chapters 26 to 28. For the two-year Bible reading plan, Please read James chapter 2, verses 1 to 26, and Ezekiel chapter 28. Rhapsody of reality.